During our All Saints Day ritual of remembrance, we remember that in the face of darkness and death, the risen Christ is our light and life. Today we remember those Asbury members who have died, along with those who passed away and were ministered to by Asbury since last All Saints Day. As names are read, we invite family and friends to light a candle in their memory, in the sure and certain hope of resurrection. And after the names are read, I would invite everyone to light a candle in memory of loved ones, those who have gone to be with Christ in heaven. Light a candle in gratitude for the gift of their life. Today we remember Fred Lacqua. Fred was a loving husband and father. He liked a clean car and manicured lawn. He was a sports enthusiast and a season ticket holder for both the Nebraska Cornhuskers and Wisconsin Badgers football. Fred's faith strengthened him in adversity. Today we remember Carol Hewlett. Carol was a lifelong teacher. She was an avid cat lover, and she enjoyed lunch with friends and playing bridge and mahjong. Carol was a charter member of Asbury and served the church in many, many ways. Today we remember David Hengelfeld. Dave was a caring brother and friend. He enjoyed hunting, fishing, gardening, and baking. Dave was a faithful member at Asbury and was always eager to help with yard work and landscaping at the church. Today we remember Donald Selberg. Don was a loving husband, father, and grandfather. He was a veteran who served in the army. And he also served the community in a variety of ways. And his faith was lived out in his active service to Christ Church. Today we remember Linda Rowe. Linda was a loving wife and mother. In retirement, she and Herb had the amazing opportunity and adventure of building their own cabin in the woods of northern Minnesota. The greatest thrill of their lives was coming to know Jesus together, and every day became a blessing. Today we remember Sarah Jean Paulson. Sarah Jean was an only child, born into a family of educators. Jean was valedictorian and loved to learn. She was extremely bright, strong, and determined. Jean enjoyed gardening, sewing, reading, and her Yorkies. Today we remember Janelle Holmes. Janelle was a loving mother, grandmother, and friend. She took great pride in her nursing career and her community. She loved sunsets at Lake Ponset and was an avid sports fan. Janelle was active in the community and here at Asbury. The church and her faith were central in her life. Today we remember Ava Plucker. Ava was a loving daughter, sister, and granddaughter. She is remembered for her love of animals. She liked electronics, her iPad, and computer. And Ava had a love of music, inspired by her Grandpa Jim's love of music from the 60s. Today we remember Roland Van Hall. Boozy, as he was called since infancy, was a loving husband and father. He sheared sheep and was a master cabinet maker. Boozy had a passion for sports and a love for animals. He enjoyed family time and bantering with his grandchildren. Today we remember Thomas Zimmer. Tom was a loving husband, father, and grandfather. He was an SDSU grad and lifelong Jackrabbit supporter. Tom was an Air Force veteran, a talented golfer, and enjoyed hunting and traveling. Tom had a strong work ethic and served the community in a variety of ways. Today we remember Gertrude Bonnet. Gertrude was a loving mother, grandmother, and friend. She was a hard worker and had a long career at Lewis Drug. Gert was an active member at Asbury. Her faith and her church family were very important in her life. Today we remember Donald Leet. Don was a loving husband, father, and grandfather. He was a veteran of the United States Navy. Don enjoyed restoring furniture, gardening, and reading. He was a Yankees and Steelers fan. Don had a faith in Christ and served his community in a variety of ways. Today we remember John Burgraff. John was a father and devoted son. He enjoyed farming and raising cattle. 
John also enjoyed nature and adventures. He was a passionate motorcycle rider. Today we remember Pilar Calamine. Pilar was a loving wife, mother, grandmother, and friend. She had a joyful, outgoing personality. Her cooking and happy birthday songs were enjoyed by many. Prayer, music, worship, the church were all important to Pilar. Sunday was her favorite day of the week. Her love and faith were contagious. And today we remember others who have lived and loved and shared their lives and their faith with us. We light a candle in their memory. Let us pray. God of life and life eternal, we thank you for the great company of those who have finished their course in faith and now rest from their labors. We thank you for the legacy of their lives of faith and we praise you that through our faith in Jesus Christ, our lives never end. We thank you for the home you prepared for each of us, a home not made with hands, but eternal in the heavens. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.